Welcome to Olathe, the Trading Post and Pond. Let's go inside and take a look. The Trading Post has been probably one of the first businesses ever in America. The Trading Post that we have today, which I, we wanted to bring back a little bit of the old, kind of have our uh, theme of the Trading Post. We're sitting here at the Crossroads Shopping Center on the Santa Fe Trail. Uh, just everything kind of started fitting in really nicely. Now that in our new facility, we're bigger than everybody else. And uh, we just want to make sure that our customers want to come back and see us, whether they need to sell something, uh, get a loan on something, or they just want a good deal on quality used merchandise. We've created a new feel here a comfortable feel, a fun feel. When Brian moved from the old location to this location, that was when he tried to make a family adventure. Something that you could bring your family in and come in and walk around and see everything that we have because we've got all kinds of stuff. Anything from A to Z. We've got people every day who come in who've never been to a pawn shop and you can tell that they're the new customer because they come in our front door and they just kind of stop and look around and one of the many of the questions that they ask is, is this a pawn shop? Pawn shops generally, I believe, have a little bit of stigma about them. Um, our job is to eliminate that and make the experience totally enjoyable for the customer. Whether they buy or don't buy, whether they get a loan, don't get a loan, doesn't make any difference. To us, the experience needs to be positive every time. The advent of uh, the, the reality shows on TV, that has helped get a lot of people in who would have never went into a pawn shop before because they want to check out. What a, okay, this has been kind of an interesting show. Let's see what they have down the street at the Olathe Trading Post. And especially when you're talking about the people that come in for the first time. With the overall look of the store, they are impressed from the get-go. This being a, a lot fresher and more open store has caused a lot of customers to come in that may have never experienced a pawn shop before. I mean, just amazed that we are a pawn shop and we have such good quality and everything is very nice and neat. I like the theme. It, you know, it's different from most other jobs. and It took a while to get used to, but yeah, I think it's kind of fun. You know, you really get into a thing. People mention it all the time. People want the hats, you know, and they really like it. The old school cowboy thing is a uh, the old school trading post uh, theme, and uh, we want to reiterate to our customers: you got used merchandise at your house that you're not using; it still works fine. You want something else? You no longer use that? Let's come in and do some trading. Uh, so we're trying to set ourselves apart as the ultimate trading post. We're trying to bring back the barter system a little bit. You know, hey, if you've got something that you're not using at your house. Uh, bring it in and we'll trade you for something that you can use. This country was built on barter. We do it all. We buy, they trade it, they pawn it. We have silver, we have gold, and we have platinum. We take a little bit of everything. We do anything from your gold and diamonds all the way to your antiques, uh, motorcycles, cars, you name it, we'll take it. Electronics, you know, cell phones, TVs, uh, Blu-ray players, um, also tools and firearms. Collectibles to me are so interesting because there's history involved with it. We have a lot of different collectibles including uh, like uh, old uh, comic books, we have uh, sports collectibles. Guitars would be the number one seller for sure. Um, I think there's always going to be a lot more guitar players than bass players and you know that kind of thing. You know, and, and it's all about what they want. Uh, musicians are pretty picky. You know, they, they want their gear to be ready to take on stage and play. There's a thought that many people have is, well, I don't want that if it's used. Everything's used the moment you start using it. We've got a lot more people coming in now shopping uh, that don't need our services at the pawn, pawn counter, but they just like coming into our store because it feels good and it looks good and we have good prices on stuff. We want all of our customers to be treated equally and we want everyone to leave happy. Our philosophy is I want every customer who comes in here to become a regular return customer. I want them to tell all of their friends. Everybody gets treated the same 
and every time you treat a customer, you try to treat them better than you did before. Breaking that mold that people have of pawn shops, especially the new, and even people who go to a lot of pawn shops, that is what this place has really become now, is it's broke the mold.